Do you ever feel like this in the morning? Welcome back. Today we are going to cover some massive news from Google. I cannot believe I missed it yesterday and Bitcoin is on an absolute tear. We're going to talk about that price action as well as drop some other alpha for you. Let's get into it, babes. I literally cannot believe I missed this story yesterday, and this comes from Bitcoin Magazine. Google partners with Bitcoin and crypto marketplace back. Today, Bitcoin, which was yesterday, and a crypto marketplace and custodian announced a partnership with Google to extend the reach and usability of digital assets to meet rapidly evolving consumer demand. Yesterday, we talked about Jamie Dimon from JP Morgan, kind of fudding Bitcoin, even though they talked about servicing their clients to help them with Bitcoin services. But we had this story also come out about Google. To me, it is absolutely mind blowing why these trad fi fancy suits continue to say bad things about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency because it's not going anywhere. Yes, Google is a massive entity. Yes, they do practice the C word, but at the same time, this is good for adoption. I'm hundred percent here for it. Also down over here, back users will now be able to add their virtual Visa debit cards into Google Pay to purchase goods and services in store and online, wherever Google Pay is accepted. Bitcoin payments will be converted into fiat to make these purchases. This is massive. This means just as long as you have Google Pay, you can pay anywhere, anywhere in the world. Amazing great progress for Bitcoin. Now let's take a look at the chart because I'm seeing some bullish tendencies here. This is our Bitcoin chart on TradingView, and we're going to start off looking at the weekly chart. So far, we are looking OK. We've been able to sustain above fifty three thousand dollar support. We have sustained our breakout pattern, which I was looking for. Only issue I have is we're starting to get a little bit pinching at the top of the upper Bollinger Band, but we've been able to do that previously and still see some nice upward gains. Also too, the Bollinger Band simple moving average at about forty three thousand dollars, which is acting as strong support, is looking nice, too, because it's got this nice up or tick. Now, taking a look at market cipher, we have the yellow cloud running upward. This is a very bullish sign for me. RSI, MFI is also looking good. Now, let's take a look at our daily chart. Daily chart is showing a little bit of consolidation, possibly a little bit of struggle over here, which is fine too. We're not actually pinching the upper part of the Bollinger Band, which is good for me, and we're just kind of vibing. This is good. This is positive. I always like to see consolidation above important areas of support because it makes me feel a little bit more confident. I will note that Market Cipher is printing a bunch of red and green dots down over here on the daily. It also does look like RSI and MFI are starting to correct a little bit, which is fine with me. It's not that big of an issue. Also, so we see Bollinger Band simple moving average 20 at about $50,000, which is the bottom area of our trend line, the pink part here. So me personally, I'm expecting some consolidating and vibing. And if we do get a correction, you can look down to here to approximately 53,000 to about 49, $50,000. And just as long as we stay saying this, I'm feeling a little bit bullish. Personally, I think that we will continue to do well and consolidate here. But if not, I would plan accordingly. As far as alts go, let's go ahead and talk about it. We are going to cover polka dot first because a lot of people are buzzing about polka dot and I love to hear it. I've got a really nice size bag of polka dot and I've been accumulating sometimes all dollar cost average in kind of depends how I'm feeling, but I've got a nice amount of polka dot full disclosure here. All right. So polka dot is not looking too terribly hot on the Sunday night stream. We called for consolidation and the only way I was going to be bullish is if we were able to flip this trend line above $36 into support, which that's not happening. Now looking at our EMAs here, we're currently testing support about 3338, which is the EMA nine. And it's looking like we could get a breakdown. Even if we fall to the EMA 50, about $30, that's fine. And if we were to fall further at $25, that would be a buying opportunity to me because that's where the EMA 200 is. However, I will note if we break below the EMA 200 could get a little bit risky here. Indicators are looking tired on the daily. So what this is telling me, it's telling me that we will probably get a drop to about $30 and consolidate here somewhere in this range. I'm not going to give too much specifics on this because I'm not actually trading this. This is more of a swing trade for me. But if we do hit $25, this is where I would look to buy more. 
This next story is massive for Binance. So Binance dedicates another 1 billion to smart chain project, which is Binance Smart Chain. And the reason why they're doing this is because they want to increase adoption. This is dope considering that Binance has been hit so hard legally in a global state. Absolutely crazy. Every single place that they're operating out of, they keep getting hit and hit and hit and hit. But to see that they are still actively contributing money to help with adoption is really amazing. And again, Binance Smart Chain is not as secure as Ethereum, but I do like the fact that it's very easy to use, it's affordable to use, and it kind of helps to bring more people in and get them educated about crypto. Again, you guys, I like Binance, but at the same time, it's not an exchange I feel comfortable using because number one, their terms of services do not want American users. And also too, it gets me a little bit nervous that they're hitting all these regulatory um, bumps in the road. So at the same time, just make sure that you're practicing very good OPSEC while utilizing the exchange and you're following the terms of services because things can get a little shaky. Either way, this is positive news for crypto and Binance Smart Chain as a whole. Let's take a look at BNB now. This is BNB's daily chart, and we've held support perfectly well at about $390. And it kind of did what we said it was gonna do and had a bit of a drop to this area, and hopefully we get a breakout and bounce. However, let's take a look at our indicators before we get too terribly excited. So we have MACD that's kind of like running upward, but it looks like she wants to bear cross and head down, so watch that. RSI is running upward, and Stochastic is running upward. So for me, I'm just feeling some more consolidation consolidation. And then if we actually are able to break $442, we can go ahead and look closer towards $500. Either way, I do hold a little bit of BNB because you never know. It's always good to have a moon bag, but this actually looks a lot more bullish than some of the other altcoins that we are seeing. This actually brings us into our next story. We love Solana on this channel because I believe it is a direct competitor of Ethereum. And FTX just announced this yesterday. The Solana NFT marketplace is live on FTX US, how to deposit NFTs to FTX US. I did a tutorial on this on TikTok, super, super, super easy, like beyond easy to use. And I actually deposited one of my NFTs on to um, FTX US. The cool thing about the story is, is you don't have to be a United States resident to utilize FTX US. It's for people globally, just as long as your region allows it. I have a ref link down below over here, and it is also on my website. If you want to use it, you'd get 5% off on trades. If you don't want to use it, that's fine. But I definitely would not sleep on the Solana ecosystem. It is super easy to use. You could connect with your credit card and your debit card, which I don't necessarily recommend, but some people feel comfortable doing that um, to go ahead and load money there to go buy NFTs. I love it. And I love NFTs. I'm very, very excited to be utilizing this platform. Feel a little bit more safer using FTX US. And of course, we have to look at Solana. All right, Solana's chart is not looking the best right now. We created a local top here at about 171. We are below um, resistance here at 157, and we're hitting some heavy resistance here with our EMAs at about 148, and kind of teetering on the 135 area. We are fighting. If she breaks below 135, which is also the EMA 50, we are going to continue to fall. 121, 97, $74. I would love to pick up some Solana under $76 or around $76, really under $100. But either way, MACD is bearish, RSI is kind of flat, and then um, Stochastic is free falling as well. Taking a look at the 12 hour chart, um, we're starting to see a little bit of a rebound. Again, you guys, unless we break above this 158 area, I'm gonna call for some more downside, which I'm 100% fine with because I have to pick up more. I need to have more Solana because I wanna go ahead and play on FTX US. All right, folks, we got to go ahead and give another shout out to Monsters Clan as they are the first ever third person and user controlled NFT game, which gives opportunities to players to collect, create, train and play your guys's monsters in battle to win and earn the native token M.O.N.S. NFTs and other rewards. And basically they bring down the barrier to entry because some of these NFT games are pretty expensive to play with. But I think that it's really cool that they're allowing you to rent stuff out and you can earn passive income the whole good thing here. Also to you guys, laboratory sales started on October 11th. 
There's gonna be a lot of different types of labs for you to go ahead and create monster babies and also create monster feeds. And basically you need to pay attention to this because every laboratory is expected to sell out in minutes. And it actually looks like a lot of things were sold. And they have this opportunity here to rent NFTs soon. And that's gonna be coming pretty soon here. Uh, make sure you pay attention to this if you're into the gaming. And also note that alpha release of Monsters Clan NFT game will be released in December. And this project is audited by R&D and Hacken. Thank you so much to Monsters Clan for sponsoring this segment. Also, you guys, this topic is not sexy at all, but I'm gonna shill it to you. I just wanna let you know, cause we've been talking about NFTs a lot, that my good friend, Pat Larson from Zen Ledger posted this. Zen Ledger Crypto Tax, S-A-A-S, has a lot of NFT support and we'll keep adding more. We love all the JPEGs. We support the blockchain powering NFTs as well. So if you don't know how to pay your taxes on NFTs, I highly recommend you check out this by Zen Ledger and you utilize this. It's important to pay your taxes Taxes. I know we hate paying taxes. Taxes are not sexy any way, shape or form, but at the end of the day, you need to pay your crypto taxes. Don't do time over something silly. And we do have a link over on my website here. I do not get a commission off of this. This is not a ref link, but it is just letting you know that this is what I'm using for my taxes. It is something I recommend and I've been using it the last few years. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.